Hi, this is Brian Ierson from the Computer Workshop. Today's tutorial we're going to be covering how to insert and use fields inside of our documents. Now in the last tutorial we went through and we were using the document properties. We were filling in some information there. So once again, if I come up here to my File tab and I click on this, I can look at my info where I can access my document properties. So we filled in a little bit of information in our last tutorial. Now we're going to put this information into our document through the use of fields. So I'm going to come back over to my document view of things and I like to center align things so I'm going to use my little keyboard shortcut here of Control E to center align my content. Now if you're like me, I try and make up little games to help me remember things. So for control E to evenly space my content from one side of the page to the other. Now we're going to go from the home tab here to the insert tab. And we're going to come all the way over here to the text group where we will use quick parts. Now, if you remember in one of our previous tutorials, we went through and created a quick part so that we could automate the process of throwing in a block of data or information. This time we're going to go ahead here and we're going to look at the document properties and fields. Now, I'm going to start by looking at fields and you can see here a list of all the available fields that are in this document. Now there's a fairly substantial list in here, so if I want to try and narrow this down a little bit, I'm going to use the categories. I'm going to switch from viewing all of them to things like document information, where I'm going to pull information from my properties. And here you can see you have some of the key important ones. You can even apply the formatting to your text. So let's just say that I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to put in the title of my document and I'm going to make this title case. I'm going to click OK and now it has put in that field for me. I'm going to tap the enter key. I'm going to type in a little bit of extra text here. I'm going to put in by and enter again. Now I need to put in the author. So for this, I'm going to come back up to my quick parts again. But this time, I'm going to take the shortcut and use document properties. And you can see here are the key properties in your or the key fields in your properties. And I'm going to just go ahead and put in the author. And that should populate with my information. Enter, enter. I'm going to click outside of that, sorry. Enter, enter. And I'm going to add in a little bit of extra text. Created for, and leave a space there, where I'm going to insert the company name. So here again, I'm going to go ahead and come to my quick parts. I'm going to go to my document property and I'm going to throw in the company. Now, you may feel that this is a lot of additional work to do up front, but if we start to think about this in the long term application, these are going to be really great little fields to put into your documents, especially when you're going to be making those documents templates. So and the, in the future, as people or you yourself use these templates, it will automatically populate with the information that is required from the properties. So if you get people used to putting in that information in the properties, you'll be able to take advantage of that by having the fields pull that information into your current document. So that is going to complete today's little tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out new videos every week. So we're always looking for new content and putting out new content to keep you interested and engaged. So once again, until next time, take care.